Okay, so this video is a look at my fave Batman figures. These are just some of my favourite Batman figures I opened recently and found out how good they were. So first is this Batman figure from Batman Begins. It's a really good sculpt and has a cloth cape which automatically puts it in my good books. But it's what it comes with which makes it so special. It came with a suitcase which says on it Wayne Enterprises Applied Sciences Division and when you open it up it has all of his gadgets inside including a foldable batarang, a working grappling hook and winch and a headset for the figure all of which is pretty awesome. Next is this Batman figure based on his comic look. It's another good sculpt, but what I like about it is the cape. The top part is rubber, while the rest of it is cloth. It's a good mixture of the two styles of capes. Next are these Batman and Robin figures. They came in a Silver Age box set, but I think they look a lot like Adam West and Burt Ward from the 60s Batman TV show especially the Robin one. Only the rubber capes let down this dynamic duo. Villains now. This isn't based on any particular Mr Freeze, but I think the head sculpt looks a lot like Arnold Schwarzenegger from the film Batman and Robin. The backpack and gun are so large because it's a workable squirt gun. As I've said before, the Penguin is my favourite Batman villain, and this is the best one I opened. The sculpt on it is awesome. Figures today are more like works of art rather than toys. It came in a box set with this Robin, which isn't as good. They've put extra stripes on his sleeves and cape. Robin's costume is busy enough without added stripes. It would have been better if he'd come with these two penguins from the film Batman Returns. I love the weaponized backpacks. I've saved the best one for last. This is Firefly from the 2004 cartoon The Batman. I think he's based on the character Firebug, who was a villain back when I read comics. His helmet is removable. But what makes him so special is his backpack. When you push the lever at the top, it makes sparks in the bottom part. I'm sure sparks have been used in toys before, but this is a really good use of it. I'm not a smoker, but it must be the same principle as a cigarette lighter, without the lighter fluid of course. Ok, so that was a look at some of my favourite Batman figures, and hopefully you'll join me on another video sometime.